summer 2020 is really feeling the 1950s drive-in vibes and taking them to a whole new level. Here are some ways that you can enjoy the retro trend. First up is the Tribeca Drive-In. While the 19th annual Tribeca Film Festival may have been postponed, organizers got creative and announced a nationwide drive-in series instead. The Tribeca Drive-In will take place at drive-in theaters across the country all summer and feature a curated selection of new classic and independent films, as well as special music and sporting events. For each event, Tribeca will work with local vendors to support small businesses and make the experience unique to each community. Tribeca Drive-In rolls into New York July 9th through August 2nd. Check out Tribeca Film com for more information. In Paramus, New Jersey, the Garden State Plaza parking lot is turning back into a drive-in. The site actually held one of the last remaining drive-in movie theaters in the state before it was demolished in the 80s. A 40-foot screen will be in the parking lot. Four food trucks will also be on site. Plus, a portion of the proceeds will be given to a food pantry based in Englewood, New Jersey, called the Center for Food Action. If you want to take movie night to the next level, I'm talking under the stars with the Manhattan skyline as your backdrop, Skyline Drive-In is the ultimate movie watching experience. Located on the East River in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, Skyline Drive-In has been the go-to photo and filming location for shows like SNL and Ray Donovan. Now every day at 9 p.m. they screen everything from classics to blockbusters. For tickets and more information, go to SkylineDriveInNYC.com. The Bel Air Diner in Astoria is now hosting drive-in movies in their parking lot. Screenings go on every night, weather permitting. The movies are mostly family-friendly, classic crowd-pleasers, and the menu follows suit with diner staples like fries and Pulp Fiction sliders. Tickets are $32 a car and have to be reserved ahead of time online. We may not be able to go to a baseball game, but a parking lot outside of Yankee Stadium will transform into a drive-in festival on select days until August. It will be a place where people can eat, watch movies, or comedians, and play games. The movie screenings will include all genres. Only 200 cars will be allowed at each event, so you have to pre-register. And in an effort to honor first responders, some tickets will be reserved and offered to them for free. And finally, if your favorite concert got postponed or canceled, don't fret. A concert on the Hudson with views of the Statue of Liberty and the skyline could be in your future. Musical acts will be announced soon at driveinsummer.com and limited boat rentals will be available on a first come first serve basis. So there you have it, your full guide for experiencing the ultimate drive-in summer.